You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, this is AfterBuzz TV for American Idol. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues... All right, guys, it is American Idol time. Yes, I am so pumped. This is season 11, episode 12. And once again, I'm JC, and joined always by my partner in crime, Mr. Mark Allen. How are you doing, my man? Thank you very much. Look, hold your applause. He's even Thank getting you. applause today because today <laughs> we have got a show. Not only are we going to recap an insane Vegas from last week, an insane episode, yes. And today, breaking up is the hardest thing to do. And this literally is the top 24 where they get down to the nitty gritty and they get rid of some amazing talent. But even on top of that, we've got Mark singing. We've been queuing this all season. Well, tonight we have him. He's going to be singing his his beautiful, beautiful song, Thank The you Streets. Thank you very much. That's right. And so stay yeah. tuned, guys. This is a show you don't want to miss, but we ain't got time, guys. Let's get into it. Let's Ooh, let's recap man. last week. What did, we have to. That oh was... My. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know what to expect in Vegas, but we, we found out. We found out absolutely. Okay, I loved it. I loved it so much so that our our theme even went on again, just because <laughs> you know it's an episode onto itself. But this is American Idol After Buzz. There we go. Now, guys, also remember to give us a call at 424-256-1729. Once again, 424-256-1729. Go ahead and tweet us as well at After Buzz TV. If you've got any questions, comments, concerns? Let us know. We'd love to hear from you. But let's get into Vegas. Yeah, what did anything surprise you last week? I mean, uh, two things. I Idol is the big dog. They still are the big dog. They they still get the highest ratings, but I found Vegas a little no offense gimmicky. Mm -hmm. I I didn't like the fact that they were doing Elvis songs and just yeah. the demo for me. It it just kind of wiped it out for me, but the performances made up for it. Yeah, it was like Hollywood week just with all the best people doing the performances together. The group performances yeah. were amazing. Man, there were some really good ones. Really good ones. Yeah, what what stood out from you? Um I liked MIT a lot. Um was it no, but it wasn't well, the MIT. The new MIT. <laughs> the new MIT. No, MIT redo. Yeah, um Richie Law, who I wasn't a huge fan of, but he totally surprised me. Um, him and, and the other dude. Uh, Is it Jermaine? Jermaine, yeah. And uh, yeah, with their low voices, just something beautiful. They were the last two people that didn't have groups, mm -hmm. got together, and it was fate. They both just they tore it up. I agree. I was blown away by those two. It, it was, um, I think J-Lo even said, very, the Righteous Brothers. She mm -hmm. picked, you know. I thought they were the one of the best. Yeah, now, it had I, to say, happen. I don't want to say they were the best, but they were one of the best groups because there was a uh, group five with uh, Reed, with Reed, even Haley. Yeah, that was really cool. Elsa, uh, is it Elsa Testone? Yeah. She. Oh my God. Or Elise Testone. Yeah. Elise. Elise Testone. They were they were excellent, but just in, as importantly, were you going to go with Jessica? I I was going to go with Jessica. That was that was my number one group for it was Jessica with um, the dude that looked like uh, Justin Guardini from a few years ago. Oh yeah, and, the, and, um, someone called him the, the combination of Kenny G and Jesus. Yeah, Kenny Jesus. Ken, they called him <laughs> Kenny Jesus. But we did not get to see Jessica Sanchez until last week. Blew me out of the water. It was just crazy. Amazing. She she's sixteen and she sounds she's like she's got like an like an old gospel singer inside old gospel singer inside her and a pop star inside her she yeah, is she's amazing i was like where, where did you come from they were they were teasing us the whole yeah, way through man. because we so, were like uh, uh yeah, we she was the sleeper it. she was the sleeper of the year but i want to bring up a different jessica okay do that <laughs> thank you thank you very much mark no uh, jessica Ooh. from the bronx the one her her boyfriend or fiance the number one story of the year yeah and man. she got she unfortunately she was cut as we all know but what happened with the attitude on the way out? I don't know. I think this oh. is a rough. This is the rough. You know, the roughest two weeks that they're gonna have until you know America decides. And, and 
It just is so unfortunate. I mean, did you think she should have went through? Um, I because it was iffy. For I was me. I was always I was always swayed by the story. I loved how she would act out the song. Mm -hmm. You know, she really would feel <clears> it in her bones, and you would just see it conveyed through her body. Yeah, but. Vocally, this is a tough year. There are so many good people. Yeah. And like I said, this year, I think a woman's going to take it. There's been, the, you know, last three years, guys have been taking it. Right. It's time for a woman. I'm, I'm women, w woman power. <laughs> I'm, I'm in for the women this year. But um, trying to get those women fans over there. Is that yeah. what's going on? Pretty much is a low ball, you know, <laughs> low ball move by me. I know. Sorry, guys. No, but yeah. she would, her quote was, they don't want real singers this year. Yeah. And, and that was awful. It was awful. I mean, yeah, she's kind of lashing out. And she said it to the, right next to her two group mates that made it through so i don't know I, I that was her kind of lashing out that was a side we didn't see of her at all right but you know we all have that that side that when you get mad you, you say some things you regret so i'm gonna give her a pass on this one hopefully and now just just finishing up on the on vegas i had a few shockers that didn't go through mm -hmm. johnny kaiser which was our ken doll unbelievable he was the bailey and ken they were supposed to be on top of the wedding cake because yeah. they were like beautiful and amazing singers but they didn't show what happened to him. So, yeah. Idol, if you guys can put it online, that'd be great. Because I know, I'm sure we're not the only people wondering yeah. what happened to Johnny. It was just, yeah, for, for building him up so much and getting to see a lot of him before where he was always awesome. Yeah. And a leader and <clears throat> just somebody that we thought would fit perfectly. Not even the top 24, but the top 12. We need to see what went on. Yeah. He's what got a huge fan base. On. Yeah, so he and J Ron. J Ron was also, yeah. but I was most shocked with Johnny. Absolutely. I, I thought Johnny was. A sh I even, we, I think I said it like two weeks ago. Was, yeah. We were like, shoe in top twelve. Yeah. So those were the shocks, guys. You know, if you guys disagreed with us, hit us up for sure. But let's get on to tonight because tonight was even Ooh. even better. <laughs> it, it's built and it's barely. We're not even in March, and I'm already feeling the heat. It's crazy. You know, it's turn. So on the uh, you know right off the start. Jen Hirsch, which was she's one of my favorite, yeah. by far. She I, she gave me I, she she gave me goosebumps. Mm -hmm. I love this woman. I, <laughs> I I no I love her singing. I you know she's great. I just she is. I mean, coming from you know she's twenty five, and she chose to have a because each performer today we went from forty two to twenty four. Right. But each performer got to pick one instrument that could back them up. She chose acoustic guitar, which I thought was kind of kind of weird. I mean, she can sing to anything. I just kind of thought piano would yeah. just totally fill it out. I'm not sure the song, you know, the song she was singing, we was a lot of Baby I Love You's, and yeah. maybe that was the name of it. But it Baby I Love You. That's, yeah. Baby I... Okay, that's it. I'm not the singer. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, you know Phil's ready on the song, but we got Phil in the booth. <laughs> no. What's up, guys? They took away my camera. They're what? using it for the Oscars gift suite, uh, so oh, I have no camera man. in here. All right, guys. So if you aren't, if you can't see, you know, if you guys are watching the show, you can't see Phil. So Phil is like a six-two eyes of blue stallion of steel. <clears throat> so definitely check us check out next week when you see Phil. People's Magazine's hottest man alive from two thousand nine. Yeah, right in the booth. Just he's running the booth. Uh. Heads up. <laughs> Phil Heads in up. the house. <laughs> he's also a DJ. Remixing and some Luda Chris right now. Nice, nice. So, all right. So getting back to Jen Hirsch. Yeah, yeah. and Jen. She in or in? Or, do you think she was in? I thought she was in mainly because of her performances before. I thought this one was was good. Mm -hmm. It was nothing crazy like we've seen before, but I, I thought for sure she'd be in. Yeah, the, and the judges agreed with you. You know that Georgia on my mind was still one of the best. Yeah, and it was. You know, and, I, I, and they how they string them out. But we're gonna get mm -hmm. to that a little bit later. You know how the judges just. They just string. I these mean, we know we have that's yeah. gonna go on, but it's like <laughs> some of them were so bad. But it was just cruel. <laughs> but next to our um, Kate, uh, Creighton. Creighton, Creighton, yeah. Is it Frocker or Fraker? Fraker or Fokker. <laughs> I said that Fokker. Okay, yeah. okay, it's um, a family show. <laughs> Fraker, uh. yeah. He, um, st I like the fact that he's he's kind of weird but cool. Yeah, he's a, you know starving artist, just like many people in LA, and. Um, we found he out just, tonight he was adopted. Yeah, which yeah, that was that was cool too. And he just defines originality for me. Yeah. He just he knows exactly who he is. And for some artists that's easier than others, but he's just he's just on the Creighton lane and he's just staying in there and just doing amazing things. He I mean, I feel like a, he reminds me of Elliot Yamin a, yeah, a little bit and 
I've been watching reality shows since I was five. Mm -hmm. Like so I was, I would translate these things from my mom. And there was this guy, and this is if you, if people can follow this reference, there's this old show called Star Search with Ed McMahon, and there was a, the first champ, the singer, his name was Sam Harris, and they're almost exactly alike. And I was like, wow, because I thought I wanted to be uh -huh. a singer when I was five, but I was too busy being her, being her host. Right. So, <laughs> and I was like, I want to be this guy, but this guy reminds me exactly of this guy. He's got the that falsetto that's so sick. I mean, mm -hmm. he's high register that yeah. just pays off every time and he, and he doesn't he doesn't weaken as he goes up up in the higher notes yeah and the cool thing about his story i liked a lot was well not only was he adopted and him and his dad are close now mm -hmm. but he he was he was raised by i think um uh was it a, a preacher yeah a yeah, preacher PK. family yeah. and he um he always said like he would always be singing in church and whatnot but he always had like a little bit of a rocker side and then he found out his dad was in this big 80s uh rock band and he was like oh put two or two together but that's just uh, that's one of those stories like you just know it's meant to be that's what you're made to do here it's like just through our genes it's yeah, i mean can you imagine the day he found out who his dad was and he said i mean it makes sense now, now it makes sense oh he's cool. like oh yeah that's why i'm awesome <laughs> yeah because you see him in the choir <laughs> he's just going yeah <laughs> rocking out yeah but, but he like i said i'm glad he's in the top 12 because i think he's got a lot of stuff he hasn't shown us yet mm -hmm. and, and you know when they do different genres imagine when they do a rock night yeah with him he's like kill it. like a glam rock night like mm -hmm. a, he's gonna do like poison or rat or motley <laughs> yeah. crew or something you know yeah he's amazing man but now it comes to our one of our first shockers yeah i so was if you want that perfect tan like the stars he's the one to see <laughs> there we go he, he Ooh, would. nice <laughs> phil is on point tonight lauren gray lauren gray i was pulling for her mm -hmm. and i like what you said when we were watching she's kind of like the adele for idol mm -hmm. but i mean she she just kind of kind of gets lost in the mix and i think that's oh. why they sent her home for me i actually you know uh, oh some adele <laughs> no there is a rule we cannot sing adele i don't care who it is because whenever you sing adele you're losing only yeah. adele can do adele well that's why i'm playing adele <laughs> <laughs> sorry phil yeah you know, but just... lauren lauren you know what i don't think that's why they didn't pick her right I think it's because mentally she couldn't hack it. I think she's she's a very there were a lot of highs and lows with her. Yeah, she's got that smoky thing, you know, like Erica Van Pelt mm -hmm. and Haley uh, Halliday. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah, yeah. But I think it made sense because at first when they said no, I was like, "What? You you're crazy." But as the show yeah. went on, it made sense. Yeah, I think she, yeah, and especially I think she shined early on, and we got to see that cool tone of hers. Her last performance mm -hmm. wasn't wasn't amazing, so it just I guess it wasn't meant to be, man. So she said she's. You know, they, they urged her to come back next time, but she said that's not for her, so there's a different lane for it. Can I get an amen? <laughs> I feel like I'm at church. <laughs> you are. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> now, Joshua Ledet. Ledet, he, he's, he's sick. He's a complete singer. Yeah, he, that's, this is what he does. He's, every week he impresses me, and goosebumps the whole performance and i like that idol does is they didn't show him in the beginning mm -mm. they brought him on uh, was it like in the last two weeks yeah, how, yeah yeah and he just there's nothing that boy cannot not no. do well he even after they told him yes he even sang his way out <laughs> yeah. Yeah. speaking like, of can i get an amen that's a lot that's what he was saying <laughs> he yeah they're like yeah you got it you got it you it's okay you, yeah. you're in all right he, he was yeah he's i think he's gonna go far man do you yeah i think so yeah see that's where i'm okay there are the people that have the talent mm -hmm. and that we have they have the voice but will they have the following especially now with twitter and the, you know like there's a teen demographic and i think that's why the male singers have had I don't want to say an advantage, but then again, I guess I'm saying that you is <laughs> that, like you know, they've been these handsome young guys that have been you know, winning these last few seasons. So like maybe like a Philip Phillips, which we don't know if he made it or not. We're teasing that, but no, we do know Philip Phillips made it. I was teasing them, Mark. Oh, teasing them, <laughs> our fans. <laughs> Philip Phillips made it, man. He made it. Yeah, he was great since day one. But <laughs> but um, I mean. They have this demo. They have this teeny bopper demo, and so it works to the guy's favor. So, is it more of a challenge for the women? Let's yes, say. Yes, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I, I want to win really bad, <laughs> even if it's for a beer. So, now, now, who, who do, on the line? Um, so, Ledette's awesome. Yeah, he was awesome. And he's not as original as say Creighton, but he's gonna be. He's gonna be going far. He's gonna have a powerful voice. Yeah. And then um, Haley, Haley, Haley J, Haley Johnson, who yeah. she got better throughout absolutely she you know i mean so much the people that are in I, 
I cannot find it. It's hard for us to disagree because usually we do have some differing viewpoints, but right. everyone is so good this season. Yeah, it's, I mean, the ones that, that went home and the ones that stayed, it's it's kind of like after they sent them home, it's kind of like you had that little thing in the back of your mind, like, oh, maybe that's why, you know. Mm -hmm. But with Haley Johnson, I like the fact that there's so many artists out there. She said, you know, she's a college student. She plays in like a coffee shop that American Idol can take you from that and within a few months can just put you just on the map. She's good, but is she great? No, um, okay. but she's good. Honest I mean, I think she, yeah, I think she's gonna. I think she's gonna. She'll stick around for a while. So she's gonna. You, you, she's gonna be one of the first few. But now remember, she's improved so much. Yeah. Remember from that first performance where she was meh. If he, yeah. And she has gotten better. So what if she just keeps doing that yeah. and she becomes like the next Leona Lewis in yeah. front of our eyes? Except it with, could happen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that is so classic her. It really was. And I know I, I hope so, because I hope I mean, I, especially with the show and especially with the vocal coach, the vocal Ooh. coach from hell, which we saw last week. But they it, it adds so much to your performance that it's yeah, she I mean, you can't rule anybody out. Yeah, Peggy Blue. I think that was—is that her name? The yeah. the vocal coach, mm -hmm. the vocal coach from Hell. She's, yeah, she's crazy. I th I think she should be on the show more often. <laughs> I think she's fantastic. I think yeah, she exactly. adds something to the show. She does. She yeah. makes everyone cry. Mm -hmm. hey, hey June, come on. He was afraid of her. I mean, <laughs> and Hey June is just the man. Yes, he is the man. And we'll we'll get to him. But anyone else that stood out to you so far, like of the of the best for you? Um, not not really. I mean, it was all kind of typical. I th I think you know when you when you start like a true or false. Um, test. Yeah, and you're like the first one. Oh, that's for sure. That's definitely false. That's what it feels like right now. We're definitely we're on the. It's an easy test so far. Okay, so then let's let's do a battle. We'll do a little battle between. Yes. Yeah, I'm going there with you. Okay. Bailey Brown versus Chelsea Sorrell. I just we finally found out her name tonight. Yeah. The two country singers. If you're gonna talk about best performance in Vegas. Well, let's preface this. Mark has this re Ooh, huge, huge. I don't want to say it's a crush. It's a. Um, it's a crush. It's a, um, oh, all right. I was trying to help you out, but <laughs> no. yeah. Um, sorry, other <laughs> girls out there. No. Um, but if you're talking about performance in Vegas week, mm -hmm. my girl Bailey didn't didn't hold her own. I just well, nice. I was, yeah, I didn't. I didn't think. I didn't think that. I mean, I. I know she's capable of so much more, and I'm still pulling. I'm still saying top twelve going going in. So. But Chelsea definitely was really good. It's like they're they're going in opposite directions, mm -hmm. possibly going into the contest. Yeah. So you know because Bailey was strong and she didn't make it five years ago and she came back and yeah. and she sounded seasoned. She's you know that and that's what I like when they like let's say Lauren Lauren who they eliminated right. that you know if she comes back hopefully she fixed some of that stuff that she's got going on inside. But another year of seasoning like Colton like all these, it's just gonna make them that much better. I actually Absolutely. think they're looking out for the contestants, which yeah. is. Kudos yeah, to you guys. Yeah, it definitely, definitely, definitely helps. So you know, so so who's gonna? So who would you pick? If you can only pick one, off their voice, we're gonna make this almost like the voice here. Sorry, Idol fans. <laughs> it, who would you pick? I'm Bailey? still going with Bailey. I have to go with Bailey. <laughs> I'm, I'm pot committed, and all right. Um, but I think Chelsea's is is solid too. So I just think Bailey has built it up since, you, like you said, she was here five years ago. So she she kind of has that following, right? And you root for her every week. I thought they were gonna. I mean, who who would you? I mean, overall, oh, really? or yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. overall. Okay, overall, I'm going with Richie Law. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We'll, no, I'm gonna go with. All right, God, this is a tough. I want to disagree with you so bad, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna agree. I think I think she just. I mean, Bailey has everything. But Chelsea, if but I'm not saying Chelsea can't make it far because with that last performance, mm -hmm. she it just. She's gonna fit. She's gonna fit very well. We just um, haven't seen enough, so stay mm -hmm. tuned, guys. Let's all keep track of Chelsea, which we will now starting next week. Yeah. You know when she, the know, we, got, we uncovered a lot of people we didn't even see before, so I'm like, okay, I'm confused. And you brought something up yeah. while we're watching it that some of these people that we never even saw throughout the it's Idol's been on now for close to two months, mm -hmm. and these people have beat out over a hundred thousand people, and they've made it to the top forty-two. And tonight we saw a few get eliminated. That we've never seen before. Yeah, so we, it's, it's kind of like it's kind of like they're you know we have the the stars of the show, and I guess that's like the supporting cast, right? And then they're like the background. <laughs> but <laughs> the is background it fair actors. to the artist? Absolutely not. I mean, because you know these they it's a launching pad, but mm -hmm. we didn't even see their name. We didn't you know they said their name when they got eliminated. Yeah, and it, and, and they didn't even show a lot of that. Right. It was like okay, these are people that you've never seen before, and now you're never gonna see them again. But it just seems like. 
if if they've made it that far, and you know they're going home at home, they're they're going crazy watching the show. Like, okay, right. at least they'll, they'll got to show me tonight, right? Mm-hmm. And then they don't. You got because uh, think of let, let's say well, a few weeks ago we had a J. Rod Gibson. Mm-hmm. He he was here in studio and he was the, one of the San Diego contestants, and he didn't make it past Hollywood Week. He didn't mm-hmm. even make it to Vegas, but he at least had that first shine. Absolutely, you know. So and, and now it's paying off. A lot of people are following his music and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, just give that to them. <laughs> Please, um, you know, if, if, even if they've made it this far, they are good and they're they're capable capable of doing something in this business. They beat out ninety nine thousand others. Come on, <laughs> just give them something, man. What do you do for work? I'm a singer. <laughs> no one cares. Jeez, Ooh, wow. He set you up for that one. <laughs> he, did. he did. He knew I was gonna do that. You can't. There's no camera in there, but he's laughing. <laughs> um, so now we we got the the battle of the country girls, but let's go to our country boy. Yeah. I mean, country man. Yeah, the dude, Richie Law. Yeah, they kind of put him on a like um, him and Hajun. They kind of did a a battle between them as well. Yeah, and because. Hey, June Rocks, we love him, and I think America loves him, so... But Richie was the, the black cowboy hat guy. Yeah. He, but the he countryest was, of all the country we've, we've seen, pretty much. He was kind of like Scotty McCready. You know, we've talked to that, about that before, and... As bad of an attitude that he has, he brings it every single time, except for... Except for... Tonight. Man. What? Okay, so here's the thing. I... He was not my favorite, <laughs> ever. <laughs> Okay. Until he 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 did uh, his performance last week, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Wow, this guy actually has something." And you know, I, I think you know a lot of the times we need that villain character, mm-hmm. and I thought they were kind of doing that with Richie Law. But Ring of Fire, I mean, I understand that Johnny Cash is the man, right? And especially in the country world, and I think he kind of maybe he he just. He, he was thinking about that too much. That you know, this I'm country. I'm gonna do Johnny Cash because that song doesn't really. Sh- I mean, it's a fun song. Right. It's like a campfire song, but it's not a song you want to. Your last chance mm-hmm. to get in the top twenty four. The last chance. And he's always talking about no. There's this is the way to do it. You have to. You always have to perform. You have to do it the right way. And I don't recite. I create. Yeah. He did not create. That was a, he was reciting the whole thing, yeah. man. I felt like it was an impression that he he was impersonating Johnny and. My gosh, he, he, I, I even wrote this. Is, I, this is his last performance, mm-hmm. and he did so well just to shoot him, shoot himself in the foot like that. Because Jeez. I think maybe even they set him up because, he, like you said, he was the villain throughout, yeah. and people wanted to see him fail. Yeah. I think a lot. I did. I did. I'm see? sorry. I did. So yeah. Okay. So you got your wish. Yeah. You're, you're such a bad, bad <laughs> man, Mark. Allen. That was my. That was my second wish. My first wish was to see Hajun shine. And what happened? To, what happened to our boy? Speaking of he Hajun, did, man. He, he, he is so funny. I want to do a couple quotes. Ryan asked him, um, you know, so how are you feeling right now? Like, why are you sweating? Or what are you sweating? He's like, sweating mostly water. <laughs> and it's so like, deadpan. Yeah, and, and and he's just, he, I don't. His image today wasn't usual. Hajun, mm-hmm. you know, he had like a beanie on. Right. He had, you know, like, uh, um, long sleeve like button up shirt. He was, I don't know. He, he came out and saying New York State of Mind, and. He did. He did really well. He's like butter. He is, man. He's really good. And so far, we've seen like three different Hajuns. Mm-hmm. We've seen like the the incredible singer. Mm-hmm. We've seen him be kind of funny and rude to Richie Law. But now we we broke out this new Hajun, the um, kind of emotional Hajun. Emo. There you yeah, go. We saw we saw him cry twice in the last couple couple shows. Okay. I'm. As much as I'm going to stop the love fest, though. <laughs> Excuse okay. me, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Dude, Phil. He makes me laugh too much. Phil, stop! Okay. No, I'm going to put a kibosh right now on Hey June. Okay. Bring it. I don't think he's going to make it very far. No? No, as much as I love him, it's. How much of it is a, a, he's a good singer, but is he. Is it his character there, you think, there? Yeah, I mean, we love him, but do we love the performer? We, I mean, okay, we love the performer, but I mean, is he a superstar? Does he have that voice? Is he strong enough to be a mega million record-selling singer like Soul Patrol, like Ty- Taylor Hicks? <laughs> Sorry, that was sarcasm. <laughs> yeah, but, maybe, maybe, wait, that's a bad, uh, <laughs> bad reference. Bad okay, reference like there, Daughtry. But... Can he be like Daughtry? Can he be like um, Kelly Clarkson, Carrie Underwood? Could he? Ruben Stutter. No, um, <laughs> that, that, that doesn't count. But no, but listen, I I'm pulling for him. I don't I don't see that. If you want to take it that far, 
this oh early. God. But that's what it's about. <laughs> oh, no, it is. I'm sorry. Call me when um, it's a singing competition. Yeah. No. All right, I'm gonna hit you up right now. Right, but he, it. yeah, I, I absolutely agree. Um, I like his character. I like his voice. Yeah. I'm not completely ruling him out, and I'm pulling for him. But I, yeah, I don't, I don't see him, you know, winning the entire thing. No. All right. Okay. So there, for the record, you hate he June. No, no. No. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on. I'm shooting bullets, man. I'm no, actually. So is that what you, do you agree with me, or is that? I mean, yeah. Is that what I'm, you're thinking? I'm, I'm with you 100. percent Yeah. It's, <laughs> sorry, he June, man. Yeah. I, I hope he stays on because he makes me warm and fuzzy inside when he I watch does, him. Man. You know. So. And, and the cool thing I want to bring this up too, real quick. He, you know, he works with kids. We got to see that side of him too. Works with kids. Um, and he was talking about his childhood a little bit. And I think that's really cool. I think, you know, that adds to his story. He's the Jeremy Lin of Idol. Yeah, he if is. you guys follow sports. Yeah. Yeah. Very he's, cute. But no, he's yeah. So maybe they'll do a life story about him like Jeremy Lin. So but I I'm trying to think of anyone else that we might have missed that were just rock solid. I think there's one. Who's Go ahead. That? It's your guy. Tell me. Okay, could interrupt you. No. Colton Dixon, man. Unbelievable. That's your boy right there. His performance tonight. Was unbelievable, and it, I don't. We didn't even see maybe tw- fifteen seconds of it. Mm-hmm. But the fact that you know he kind of his sister, if you guys remember, his sister got cut last week after they first they told her that she was in, and that she was one of the I think tw- you know twenty seven that they had to cut at the very last minute mm-hmm. after they told everybody you guys are, are the ones that made it, and then they had to come back and cut like another you know cut it down to forty two. He did uh, the Coldplay song, fix. Fix you, fix it. Yeah, fix, fix you, up, you, whatever. Fix you. But fix you. he, if he performs like that every week, he's gonna win the entire thing. I I felt that strongly about his performance that, and, and that he dedicated it to his sister. He's got a, the best story that he he didn't even want to do it this year. He came around just, and I'm not saying it wasn't set up, but I'm, right. I'm but for the sake of mankind, I'm saying that he didn't. This was not set up. That it was fate that he he showed up with his sister right. and they brought him on. If he performs like that every week or better than that which i think he's capable of doing he's going to win the entire thing the entire thing and it's going to be wow. guys again all right he's going to take out the your, best it, performance it, of the night that's your best that's yeah. your best of the night oh sorry what did you how did you how did you feel about Cole? did you feel that strongly or i wrote he's a rock star yeah <laughs> I, I did literally because it's just the, the essence he carried it, it, it was absolutely he didn't just scream at your face it was just the delicate and he was delicate and just he just told a story mm-hmm. and he was playing the piano he everything he just you could tell that there was emotion behind it because yeah. it was it was like you said for his sister he's the whole package he's he's a record company's dream exactly and he's kind of like what you said before that he um they sent him home last year at this mm-hmm. a year uh, or 364 days before this episode they sent him home last year so oh. it's like it's crazy that I mean that was the best thing that could have happened to him. Yeah. So what are you trying to say? JC's right again. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Is that what I was trying no, to say? No. No. So no. yeah. No. Yeah. Exactly. But it, it it worked out for him. Yeah. He got better, and now with the cast they have this year, he's capable. He, he's he's a great performer. We're gonna see a lot of him either way. Okay. So now we've pretty much covered the ones we've liked for the evening. Now, Except I don't know. for oh, who do we miss? Your boy, I kind of touched on him earlier. Philip Phillips. Yeah, let's talk about him. Let's I, talk about I, him. I'm, I'm, I'm a, he and I are in a fight. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not feeling him as much as I was. Relationships a, aren't easy. <laughs> in a total, it's a bromance. <laughs> I've loved him since day one. I just thought he had that thriller performance. <clears throat> I've said it and said it again. It was one of the best. Uh-huh. But is it a novelty? I need more. I he need brought more. it back. I know. Well, yeah. I, I guess he's not as well rounded as some of the other performers. When you take his guitar out of his hand, he's yeah. kind of he, he looks a little bit lost. Which is, which is understandable. Maybe that's what he's always been used to performing with. But tonight's performance, he did Nice and Slow by Usher. Yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to cover that song. I still haven't yet. But I never thought of covering it the way he did. Well, so what type of genre did he do? What, what, what would you call that? I don't know. Like blues? Like a, yeah, like, like a, a rock, blue. Acoustic rock, bluesy, something. But yeah. through the R&B vibe in there, and it, it really... It was good. Yeah. I thought it was. I thought it was really cool. It was. It was up there, uh, almost thriller esque for yeah. me. When he, but yeah. um, we, yeah, we, it was a very short clip. So, um, Philip Phillips, I think the girls are gonna love him, and I think guys will think he's cool. Yeah. So that that's gonna help him, and it. But with like Colton, I think girls will love him, but will guys? Yeah. Because guys will be threatened a little bit. I think some no, guys are threatened. Philip Phillips. 
Got you're no, no, about, no, no Colton? I was talking about Colton. That's what yeah. the difference between Colton and oh, yeah, Philip yeah. Phillips. Absolutely, because it's kind of like Philip Phillips is like a Dave Matthews band, which yeah, you know, and then Colton is kind of like the heartthrob dude. Mm -hmm. But he's I don't know, he kind of he's kind of straddling that line a little bit. Colton is, so, so he, I, he can be a little edgier. You're saying yeah, but I think I mean Philip Phillips regained my trust tonight. Yeah, you were hating <laughs> on my boy. <laughs> I got you, blue. But yeah. um, now let's move on. There's one really person that stood up to me that I didn't like, that I didn't think should have gone through. Who's that? Brielle. Yeah. Really? Stage mom? Yeah, stage mom. Stage mom. <laughs> We've been following Brielle since yeah. ho early in Hollywood week. She has the cantankerous stage mom who just cantankerous. Nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I, it's just um, a big word. Yeah. Okay. Look no, it but up real quick. Yeah, go for it. Look it up now, and I'll talk about Brielle a little bit. Uh, she's good, but... I don't think she does. She reminds me. She reminds me of Michaela Gordon. Michaela was on a few seasons ago. Mm -hmm. I think she was from Jersey as well. Really loud, bubbly personality. But for now, you're at the top twenty-four. I mean, you got to make a cutoff because some people, some of the people that are going to let go, like there's one person that they left. They left us on at a cliffhanger tonight. And if they say no to him, and they said yes to Brielle, I'll. I'm gonna set this place Flip. on fire. <laughs> I really am. Phil, keep me away from the matches. I will set this thing on. She, yeah. I will. You know what? But for me, for you, for me, for me, for you, you know what <laughs> I mean? Uh, I feel like Randy right now. Um, but he did, uh, 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 Brielle, I think if this was, if we weren't able to see, you know, anything, you know, behind the scenes stuff, I thought, I thought her performance tonight was very good. Okay. I thought it was a very good performance. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it to be. Oh. Uh. But I think she, yeah, I think she, she, uh, you know, held her own. But with her mom waiting outside, so you're thinking um, uh, that, in my opinion, has been swayed because of the mom. Yes, I think a little right. bit of the backstory. I'll try to keep an open mind. <laughs> I, will, I will, but I'm just thinking of of a, what about it? anyone for you stand out that you really didn't yes. think we talked about her before from the episode last week. But Jessica Sanchez. That the, you didn't see, like? No, oh, didn't like. Oh no, I, that that was about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just jumping. I was just I, I I just remembered her name real quick. And Jessica Sanchez was she's unreal. She yeah. She I, had a very soft performance okay. tonight. So well, I we're not getting into predictions, but we're we're gonna get into predictions of what we're gonna see tomorrow later on. Mm -hmm. But you're calling out. So you think Colton could take out Jessica Sanchez? Yeah. Really? Overall performance? Yes. Jessica, I, she's out of this world. You just met her. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, last week we saw her, but then ten, tonight, I mean, just she's kind of like Creighton. That she's got so many. Th she's got like everyone's yeah, got she, like this she, toolbox and yeah. stuff. And she, she was I think pulling she's, out all the tricks today. I don't think we've seen every trick. And I don't she's think so only sixteen. Yeah, she's in that. Which also, you know, because she, I mean, she does have a lot of experience because she's. Her, her, she said her mom doesn't have a job right now because she's helping her work it out. I think she's from San Diego. So I think she's amazing, but I think because she's so young, she still might have some trouble that Colton might be able to have. He's got, I think, his okay. toolbox might be bigger, is all I'm saying. Okay. Is what I'm trying to say. No, no, you know, uh, and I'll, I'll give you that point only because I think Colton's been through the idol machine a little more than she has. He's been through the disappointment yeah. in, a, in, in a, with American Idol. So he was able to fix, maybe fine-tune some things, you're saying. He'll be able to deal with the stuff. And I, she hasn't been tested yet. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll see. That's that's where we'll find out what, you know, so far she's blown everything out of the water. But let's say a few weeks from now she's going to get a an old, like a country, maybe country or some genre she's not used to. Right. Will yeah. she be able to handle it? Um, I, I still think, I think she's she's one of the top people for me. But so far, you think everyone's the top person uh, for you, man. You know, what, okay. Just, <laughs> it, I, I think do. you're just in a great mood because remember, guys, stick stick around for the end of the show. We've got yeah. Mark singing his very own tune here. We've been teasing it for weeks. You're gonna get to hear him. So, but before that, let's move on to the shocks and buildups. Mm -hmm. We were talking about early on that, <laughs> what the shocks uh -huh. and the buildups. Do you think it's cruel that? They do this to all the artists, like you know. We we talked, we touched upon it <laughs> earlier, but I mean, Randy is just awful. He's like yeah. saying, "I'm really sorry to tell <laughs> it's, you." Yeah, it's, it's it's like I understand it's a TV show and you have to do this stuff, but be a little bit better because Randy's buildups are the worst. Okay, the worst of all the buildups, followed by everybody. I think, yeah, well, I think I think Steven Tyler is just too nice. You just like you're, <laughs> you just you don't even know what to expect. You're just like, what what kind of pants are you wearing? 
<laughs> you just get distracted. <laughs> but no, and I'm bringing this up for a reason because we left out one guy mm -hmm. on our shocks and upsets, and we tied in to Adam Brock. Mm -hmm. I think they're just bringing bringing harsh criticism just to drum up some drama because that boy. Yeah, he's he's capable of so much. I even wrote when he was singing. I was like, he. He has a voice that doesn't get, probably cannot get a song wrong. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's so cool. It's like you know, like the 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 movie movie guy that inter, uh, introduces all the movies. Uh, you know, he's got that same thing. He makes you want to hear whatever he's saying, even right. if he's talking about McDonald's. It's like Adam Brock is the same thing. If he has, he's got, uh, and I really like what you said about he kind of has that a little more gravel to his voice. Oh, the, the, like that, a Danny Grokey, yeah, yeah, Goki, but oh yeah. yeah. But with a little more gravitas and more yeah, gravity, yeah, yeah just really, I don't know. It's, he's he's got something special, and but we don't know if he's up. gonna. We yeah, don't, we don't. Know. It's just well, like for for that build up, yeah, it's questionable. But you know what? One build up wasn't questionable. Mm. Reed Grimm. Yes, our boy. Yeah, we forgot to even. I think we we might have passed there, over. There's him, just so much just, stuff, guys. Seriously. Yeah, but Reed Grimm. Like, if you're gonna build up something, I, I yeah, obviously at the end of the show you you're gonna do that. But Reed Grimm. He's a musician. He's a musician. He's he's a, he's just an act. He should just be in Vegas, just uh, just a street performer. But he 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 rose again. Yeah, I even wrote he'll be singing till he's eighty. Yeah, it doesn't matter if he makes it or not. He's been singing since he's two on stage since he's two. Would you so jam with him? Absolutely. He's yeah. just a, yeah. When he sings, he puts everything into his voice. Okay. But since I brought him up along with Adam Brock, who we don't even know if he's gonna make it or not, mm -hmm. who goes further? Oh man, oh, the performer it. or that rich voice? Oh man, Goki or uh, like Reed? Who would, you, who would you? I mean, the battle goes Reed's, down. Reed's quirkiness almost turns me off slightly. Yeah. Even in, I, I, I love. I think, I think he may turn America off slightly. He might just be a little too goofy sometimes. Mm -hmm. Because a few weeks ago, they changed the the platform for them singing in Hollywood a week when he had that. Um, they switched it to a. He was going to sing an acapella song. Right. And they said, you can no longer do that. And they gave him 30 minutes to come up with a song. And he totally hammed it up for like 25 minutes. Like, oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to yeah. do? And then he blew it out of the water. Just do whatever. He, so he played the drums again today. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't a huge standout performance, but it's just like, yeah, this guy is that talented. He's that fun to watch. You always want to see what he's going to do next. Right, you're, trying, you're really selling me on him. But I'm going to go with, for a million dollars, I'm going with... <laughs> As of right now, actually, I'm going to go with Reed Grimm. The only reason is because... We don't know yet. We don't know yet. So, with that said, let's take a little commercial break because, guys, I want you to hear hey. Mark Allen <laughs> right after the break. After Buzz TV. Hi. I was once like you, a lazy, angry loner whose only joy was watching TV and surfing the net. And, like you, after I'd see one of my favorite TV shows, I'd be so excited and have so many questions that I'd actually have to talk to my douchebag co-workers about it at the water cooler. Then, I discovered AfterBuzzTV.com. AfterBuzzTV produces after-show webcasts and podcasts for TV series of all kinds, like post-game wrap-up shows for all your favorite TV shows. AfterBuzz TV hosts are industry insiders who break down episodes of shows, take calls from fans, and interview cast and crew from each series with over 60 different after shows from Boardwalk Empire to American Idol to Vampire Diaries to Real Housewives and more. Now, after a night of TV, I can ignore my stupid co-workers, who I hate, and go straight to my desk and watch or listen to all my favorite AfterBuzz TV after shows and have all the TV fan interaction I need. Thank you, AfterBuzz TV. AfterBuzz TV. What do you want to buzz about? All right, guys. We've had everything tonight. We've had an amazing show, but... But where's JC? I'm right here. I meant... Sorry, Mark. <laughs> That's what I nice. meant. Nice. <laughs> yeah, don't go in our bloopers for sure. No. Hey, guys. Uh, yeah. Phil just asked the right question. Where's Mark? Well, I'm going to direct the attention to the south side of our stage. We've got Mark. The Cat's Corner. Yes, the Cat's Corner for, hey, y'all, Cat Bayless. We still recognize you, Cat. We love you. And tonight, Mark is going to be singing. We've been cueing him all season. When is he going to perform? So tonight, he's bringing his single. And he's got his boy Kevin, Kevin Asami. He's gonna be playing the guitar. That's right. And now, if you want to find you, Mark, we're gonna. You got your. You've got the track on iTunes, correct? Yeah, it's on iTunes. If you search Mark E, 
middle initial E, um, the streets. But oh, you can just follow me on Twitter, Mark E. Allen. So All right, so without further ado, here's Mark E. Allen, the streets. <laughs> Looking back now, can't figure out just how we made it this far. Looking through the broken glass window in my car. You're jaded, you know, you know you're fading. Come on, mistakes were made, but how long till this moment ends? She whispers, Come on. Whispers like a drug in your vein, and you won't feel the pain, man. You need the game plan. Uh, says we're going downtown, baby. Come on, let's fall in love tonight. The streets are calling, the streets, the streets are calling. Going downtown, baby. Come on, you want that feeling? Go on, the streets are calling, the streets, they're calling tonight. Yeah. Yeah, 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 uh. Just try to feel it out, justify and find a reason to stay, uh. The city is turning, I'm lost in the race. Who knows why I did it? Could I left you in a minute? What up been gone, left you all alone, but now she... She whispers, come on, oh, oh. Whispers like a draw in your vein, and you won't be the game plan. You need that game plan. Says we're going downtown, baby. Come on, let's fall in love tonight. The streets are calling, the streets, the streets are calling. Going downtown, baby. Come on, you want that feeling? Go on, the streets are calling, the streets, they're calling tonight. The time is burning, but it's too late, it's too late now. I see her running at me, I start to figure out. I never had a choice in this, she did it on her own. She had me looking clueless, Alicia Silverstone. Hmm. Whoa, oh, oh. Ooh, we're going downtown, baby, come on, let's fall in love tonight. The streets are calling, the streets, the streets are calling, going downtown, baby, come on, you want that feeling, go on. The streets are calling, the streets, the streets are calling, going downtown, baby, come on, let's fall in love tonight. The streets are calling, the streets, the streets are calling, going downtown, baby, come on, you want that feeling, go on. The the streets are calling, the streets, the streets are calling tonight, yeah, they're calling tonight, yeah, yeah, they're calling tonight, no, whoa, whoa, no, no, they're calling tonight, oh, Woo! the crowd goes down, thank you very much. Thank you to Kevin Asami over here. Oh, Kevin. Up Kevin, Mark. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. You are, you're living in Hollywood. <laughs> you're not going to Hollywood. That's you are right. in Hollywood. <laughs> that was awesome. That was fantastic. Now, what are your influences? Um, influences, going back, huge uh, Michael Jackson fan. Okay. So I like to put a little bit of funk into the music because I like doing the acoustic stuff that's laid back and kind of do like the John Mayer stuff. Mm -hmm. But also, you know, you like to get up and dance a little bit in Cat's <laughs> Corner a little bit, but. There we um, go, we broke yeah. it in. We yeah, broke so in cat, the catwalk. That's right. Phenomenal, La ladies, like seriously, <laughs> you need, and guys too, you find his track on iTunes, seriously, search Mark E. Allen, The Streets. Once again, thank you, Mark. Thank you very but much. Now we gotta get to predictions. We gotta go to predictions. S predictions, segue, y'all. Yeah. And now, you're after Buzz TV predictions. Okay. <sighs> this is it. They've only got, what is it, 10 spots left. 10 spots left. 10 spots left. And we're starting with the cliffhanger. Adam, Adam Brock. Yeah. This is the first time anyone's done predictions from the cat's corner. That's right. There we go. We're breaking it in. Moment. Oh. Nice. 
All right. Cat is going to be mad at me. <laughs> That's all right. That's <laughs> all right. All right. I feel you. All right. Adam, is he in or not? What do you think is going to happen tomorrow? It's going to be rough, but I think American Idol needs him. I think absolutely, positively, yes. All right. What do you think? I'm I'm a drama guy actually, <laughs> and that's why I ser like. I, I, they've done this stuff to us before. They have, and the problem with him that I see is that the way they were talking to him, it definitely seemed like they were gonna say no. Yeah. I re so I really think they're gonna say yes. <laughs> nah, <laughs> I Bam! I did Man, it to you. See, you're way your 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 buildup is way better than that. That was good. I think Adam's gonna go through and. Tomorrow we've got yeah. there's still nine other spots, so we don't know who's gonna make it, who's in, who's who's out. But as we draw to a close, make sure tomorrow you guys check me out on American Idol Live. I'm gonna be tweeting. I'm gonna be tweeting after Buzz TV what I think is the good and the bad of tomorrow's episode. But before that, Mark, where can they find you? Find me, Mark E. Allen on Twitter. And you can always find me at the Everyday Man at Twitter. And you can find us on After Buzz TV. We'll see you next Wednesday. Check us out. And that's it for tonight. See ya. Good night. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.